Right, hello everybody. I'm in my Mark II, the track car, well, ish. Um, I'm changing the steering wheel. There's the old one. Obviously, you can start by taking the screws out, just in case I was uh, doing a bit of cursing. The horn hits the first, I'll show you that. Um, this one's got wear on it. See, I've had it about 18 years now, but very close to the levers so what I've done with the steering wheel as you can see it's quite flat isn't it so we'll put that one down there after we and here's the new one and I've got a it's a drifting one there you go so to dish on that so you've got a 90 mil dish on it so when you fit it on now to there on the locations there Let's see uh, right Let's see if I can set this camera up somewhere and uh, we'll get on with it fingers crossed everything goes right because uh, I've been having a nightmare with the cars lately uh, you know, Mark II passed the MOT last week, uh, but the little video ads not on for long, so it's not worth putting it on YouTube. The um, all the bolts, the torque bolts on the drive shaft on the offside, which is the long one, and they're the ones that are a bit of a problem to have to get underneath. And he said they were loose. Anyway, he was going to fail it, but he thought being it was me. Anyway, I got I took the day off. That was last Tuesday. So I took the, took the day off on the Wednesday and um, first thing, at 10 past 7 in the morning, jacked it up, tightened them all up, everything like that. And I thought there was just one or two loose, but the whole lot were loose and they were out, sticking out about 5 mil. You wouldn't believe it. And I thought, oh my God, another few miles. If that if had come off, it would have made, fuck, there's a thing what sort of a mess it had made underneath and the noise would have been horrendous. Anyway. Past the MOT, so I had this the other week and I wasn't going to put it on until you know we got all the thinking. You know, I bought new bushes for it for about 10 years ago, but every year it goes through and he was just saying the actual um, bush, the rubber, it's, it's just starting the bar, the steel bar that goes through, it's starting to corrode. So he says, it's just I was starting his spot, he says, I've had to give you an advisory. So anyway, so but it's gone through again. That's 19 years on the bounce. That's what I've had this car now, and it's never failed its MLT. We had a, had a couple of advisories with it last year, but we'd done all them, and it wasn't like threatening, you know. But um, anyway, we got on with this fella. Uh, fitness bad boy onto here. So I'll try and get a. A mount up now somewhere. Uh, God knows where, I like. So you have to bear with me. And, um, we'll get on with it. Right. Stick. One of these. One to that. One three. This ain't gonna be easy now. Where am I going to put this? Where can I put the camera? To see. Yeah. Come in there. So I can see that. This first one, put that in and I'll reset the they said they were universal. I'll put them onto the same holes as the um, the other steam wheel is nowhere near. I thought, this ain't gonna fit. And I'll just use those holes just now. And uh, they line up. 
and I don't need to take the boss off because it's uh, fairly central there. where the other wheel was Tighten them up two up first. See what happens. Gotta be careful here because it's uh, alley. Um, I'm just not really tighten them up yet. Well, I'm not going to tighten, tighten them, but I feel to that the seating position and everything like that. So just curve, making my hands go a little bit curvier. Just bringing my hands in a bit, but. Yeah, it feels alright. I'll be able to use my proper gloves now. Because the proper gloves kept hitting these. How far are these away now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna, just gonna go out and see what this cat looks like. Let's see, this will be better over here somewhere. Up there, I can do, try and set it up, but don't know. Let's set it up there. Move in. Got mounts, but didn't think about setting them up. You know, now, what's going on here? Now? Let's back them off. I think I thought that was going to line up. Bases are easy, even the old one. I thought oh, it's not flat. Get them like situated. First, Wednesday has been windy, hasn't it? It's like Saturday, I don't know, what's the day 20 or yeah. early 20s of May. Hope everybody's keeping safe anyway and healthy. It's horrible, this virus, isn't it? It's really, you get, you get, everybody's getting used to it, I think, but it's just something you don't really. Mm. I, I never want to see it again if they can get rid of it. Um, just got to carry on, haven't we? And cope. Oh, yeah. Come on, Petey. So you watch I'll just my look I'll strip the thread in the boss as well. There's the wind. It's back. Whoa. There's the door gone. Mm. 
do something to do happen. Anyway, at least it's not the same balls as the old one. Let's back these bad boys off again. Still with us, everyone. Right, that's that one. A bit better. Should just put fly in, shouldn't it? I did go for the you know the, the Alcatraz tile, what you call it, because uh, I will try one in thing. I'm just going to try this first. I don't want to pay big money and not like the wheel, you know. off because there's a the earth cable sometimes I have problems with it for the horn to work after you know faff about with it that's what it really the horn goes in there that's about it just my luck as i said connect out to them two there pop that in sort it all right see you in the next one thanks for watching and uh hopefully that was uh you can see what i was doing bye for now